Menace is earned, man. Menace is earned on this team. And we had our talk, as, as we should, as a team, as, as the three captains that we are. And he gets it, man. I know he gets it. He knows. He knows how much we, uh, how much we need him, how much we re rely on, on him. You know, sometimes you just don't, don't have it. And he admits, you know, hey, guys, I'll let you down. But look, we're here to help him. You know, he's in our team. He's our player. We love him. And this is the only thing that is matter. He's the most athletic guy I know. He's the heart of our team. And he's also the best big man in the league to me. And I don't care what nobody says. That's just my opinion. For the home sons, it's James Booker, it's Lynn, it's Chris, and Mr. Warren. As for the first five for your Miami Heat, look who's back. Deion Waiters with uh, the Dragon, the Sonathon. Justice will be served, and the center integer. Off to the Valley of the Sun we go. Hassan Whiteside and the Miami Heat taking on the Phoenix Suns. Hassan Whiteside is a grown man, dog. Just in case you didn't know, find out right here. Access denied. Now, uh, I probably shouldn't laugh. Yeah, uh, Mike, Mike James wouldn't like if I laughed at him. Sorry, couldn't help it. Four blocks in the game for Whiteside. Dragic. Craft into the lane. Now, that was nice, but how about you reward your big man? Throw it up for him. Whiteside, 23 points, 10 rebounds in the game. Miami up by 15 at halftime. In the fourth quarter, the Suns keeping it close. There's a miss. Devin Booker sharing his caring. Wolfpack. TJ Warren gets the dunk. What's that mid-range game looking right? Elbow. Splash. 30 points in the game for Mr. 70. Later on in the fourth quarter, Deion Waiters back in the lineup after the birth of his daughter closes out the game. They like to call it Waiters Island. That J and then the three ball. Looks at the cross, says, I'm back. 16 points in the game. Miami victorious, 126-115. One or two guys. Uh, this is ideally uh, what every coach wants. Spread around, multiple guys attacking and making shots, uh, whether it was Dragic or James Johnson. Uh, again, everybody had double figures with the exception uh, of Josh Richardson, who finished with four points. But it was just... 21 assists, the ball was moving, so many people contributing. When you spread out a defense like that, you can put that ball down on the floor and get into the seams. Justice Winslow got to his strengths, which is using the dribble and getting to the deck. And this guy right here, after two game absence, came in, made some big buckets, Dion did down the stretch when things got a little bit close. Yeah, it was interesting because they did get to within six, did the Suns, and then Dion said, yeah, enough of that. Hit a couple big shots, brought it back up to double digits. He get that 126, 115 win. He Going back to Phoenix. Well, today was a quick start, quick middle, quick end. I mean, he, he just <laughs> yeah. did it all tonight. All around game for the Dragon. Had a season high 29 points, his most in this building here since he came back and uh, wasn't a Phoenix Sun. Tremendous shooting from the field. Uh, 9 of 19. Got to the free throw line, too, so it was aggressive going to the basket and drawing fouls. It was a perfect. 10 for 10. Love the way he was aggressive going to the rim. Uh, wind up getting nine rebounds. He does a, did a good job running down some longer rebounds, scoring among the trees right there on a pass from the big man at four assists, one turnover. Overall, very solid floor game from start to finish. He played like the leader and captain that he is. That's what you need from your leader when you are looking to get a win, and they do it in decisive fashion tonight, led by the Dragons. Um, did a a good job with Tyler uh, out of the game, Johnson, due to sickness. He knew he was going to have to pick it up a notch coming off the bench, and he did, he did just that. They played off him, played him drive a little bit. He makes a shot. Then he uses his speed to get around Dudley. Uh, look at here, Dudley playing off him. He knows he can't guard him foot speed-wise. He's daring him to shoot. So he's been converting those shots in the last four games in particular, and that opens up his drive game, where he can then find the seams, get uh, his drive game going. Uh, Dudley really was on roller skates there. He didn't know whether to roll out and guard him or roll back. It's a tough challenge. Uh, so outstanding performance. And these numbers over the last four games uh, really reflect how well he's playing. He doesn't have nine. But it's effort and energy that his team wants to see, not giving up. Because a guy like this is so impactful, even if he's not scoring. Ooh, well, block. he brought it all tonight. You see the block shot. 
He got up, he kept it in bounds, and got the heat out on the break. But he was also effective going to the basket. His teammates, look at that pass there by Dragic, James Johnson. They knew where he was at all times. They really made a determined effort to get him engaged. Uh, anytime uh, there was an opening, he was there. He made sure he, he made these extra second Great efforts pass. to get on top of the basket with offensive rebounds. He finishes with 22 points, super high percentage. More fun. Once again, the final tonight, 97 to 80. The Warriors take it. If you'd like to catch a replay of tonight's game, tune in tomorrow at noon, presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports on your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For my partner, John Crotty, the whole gang, Jason Jackson, the coach, Tony Ferentino, and Eric Reed.